Hi, I'm Ken. Congratulations on your new purchase. We're going to go over some features of this just to get you an understanding so get you on the road. So right here, you're going to see your leveling system here. All right. Pretty simple. A uh, couple pushes on the arrows. Auto level. Hitch. So if we're going to activate it, we're going to double push those. Green light means it's on. Now, there is an instruction sticker inside your front compartment here. If you can see that on the wall, that's going to explain a lot to do with this touchpad here. And I'm going to go over another way to work it. Right here, any motion sensor lights that you have in the unit, you want motion sensor, you're going to set it to the two setting. Okay, dead middle is off, up is on constantly. So just remember that the two is going to be your motion center. <laughs> Batteries in here, don't, don't really have to get in there besides changing the battery. It is mounted to the metal underneath. You're going to find your regulators on this side for both pro tank, propane tanks, this side and the other side. Right now the setting is to this tank right here. When you're done, you're going to switch it over, pull the other tank. We'll leave it on this one. We've got quite a bit going on here. We'll go over that here in a second. But I'd like to show you how to turn this panel on first. You're just going to touch this button at the bottom. Now, whenever you do first turn on your battery disconnect from the other side, after not using it, there is a slight little startup that this goes through before being able to access everything. Now from out here, you can actually turn on all the lights in the coach. Awning light, ceiling light, porch light, step light. Just from right here. You see how they come on and you turn them back off. You can access different devices through here. The awning, you can operate from here. The leveling system, you can operate here and finally tune things. The slides and back to lighting. You want to shut it down push and hold you can power off any way you want to do it otherwise it goes into sleep mode if you just quick click it over here's all your water settings where you're going to hook up is right here and that's to fill fresh tank run your city water all of that the only difference is this is a black tank flush this is going to go straight to the black tank making sure that the valve on the black tank is always open when you're doing that that way you're flushing the tank and not filling the tank Different settings are going to be at your choice. Dry camping is when you're going to fill the water tank and you're going to use water on. You're going to use this switch to turn on the pump from here. You can actually hear it sucking in. You have front cap lights and underneath the slide lights, that's this switch here, is marked. Different hookups for cable and satellite, but otherwise, follow, follow the uh, pictures here for exactly which one you want. water heater now the only reason you really want to get in here is to clean some bugs out maybe get debris and then drain it from that plug right here otherwise there's no real reason to be in there hooking up your power right here 50 amp cord gonna plug and turn and you take it hook it up all your sewage and wastewater is gonna come here you do have a light in case it's nighttime and you need to see Cap has to be on when you're traveling. Jack's down here. Anything going on with that? And we're going to have our own video just for the auto level. As far as sewer hoses go, you're going to store it here. This unit doesn't come with a bumper that would normally have bumper storage, so you get an under tube storage. We get four prongs for any trailer equipment here. You're, you can't really tell in some states, but you can have something that blocks the tail lights, and sometimes it has to be plugged in there. Spray port with the blue coil of hose that comes with it. It'll be in a front compartment that goes here. That's cold water only. Come to this side, you're going to have a TV and a refrigerator in this outside little sort of kitchen area. Controls for the refrigerator are right there. Medium setting right now. You can get it cold as you want. Remote for this TV is outside in this compartment. This is access to your refrigerator. Any no reason to be in there to divert bees, uh, debris, anything like that. And up here, in here, you're going to see you got a little dog leash latch, and that can be ran down through the little port here on the floor. That way, you don't have to leave this door open. Otherwise, the only thing left in there is the battery disconnect.